episode number next. I'm Matt. I'm Amy. Welcome to the show. Tonight, we're going to be talking about planning big projects. How do you plan big projects? And when we're talking about, we're not talking about building houses. We're not talking about building shops. We're talking about woodworking projects. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because, uh, well, I'm building a miter station. And to me, that's a fairly good sized project with everything I got going on because I'm, I totally basically deconstructed the old one. My shop is, looks like a tornado went through it. It's really, really AKA bad. AKA our garage. That is my shop. Mm -hmm. It is, so it's destroyed. And then I'm going to put a wall organization system up, a new miter station. So how do you plan for all that? Like, that's kind of what we'll go over tonight. As far as um, solid spotlight, I, I never got one of those sent to me. So. You never got one? I don't think so. Well, how I about... Know. You told me about the... I did. Let me find that. I'll get it pulled up for you. Yeah. So, send me um, the link. For our sawdust spotlight, what we're going to do is, a lot of you may have already seen this on here. I'll go ahead and pull it up. It, um, do you, you didn't go down to, down to our long drive to the post office down there. Well, we don't have any mail. Okay. No mail call. I'll show you something I made this week, though, you go while she looks that. for that. <laughs> I'll pull it up real quick. So uh, a lot of you know that, or you may not know, but I went up to Old Log and Sawmill. He has a YouTube channel, Old Log and Sawmill. And he, uh, we went up there a couple of weeks ago and did a video on his kiln system, which comes out Thursday. Super interesting. Uh, you, you should really watch the video if you're interested in any type of, like, how does your hardwood get to you type thing? How is it made? And he, he does the whole thing. And he started four years ago and created a business, a full-time business for himself. And he just keeps growing and growing. It, it's fascinating. Anyway, he also sells epoxy and I've not been messing with epoxy much and no, the channel's not going to turn into an epoxy channel. But I do want to play with it because I have a couple of ideas that in mind. Uh, we discussed on the channel uh, members only live stream a few minutes ago that what what idea I have for this epoxy project. But this one I actually made this week. It's not my idea, but this is what I made this week. So this is an epoxy charcuterie board. He sells these kits, these um, walnut kits. And all I did was cut it to length, put it in the form and pour the epoxy and then sand it. That's it. Like It was so super easy. But that's what I wound up with, and it is awesome. Let's see if I can get some better pictures for you. Now go the other way. Check that out. The, the way that walnut and the blue contrast each other is just, oh, it is sweet. I think this is the right link. You seen it in the same? Yeah, I think it's the right link. Hopefully. We'll see. I'm pulling it up right now. All right. So, if this pulls up, I know a yep. lot of you seen this. Well, um, it's only a picture. No, Where's it the whole should. post? It's probably over here. Yeah, see, it's the post. Okay, so this was posted by John Coleman. It was posted yesterday, late in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of you saw this because I know a lot of people posted uh, comments and a lot of people... Um, liked it or shared it but he posted this about his daughter he said that he was asking prayers about his daughter Kara and he said that in October of 2019 when she was 11 years old they had found out that she had a form of cancer it was a type of bone cancer and um, it, he went through the story and they thought that she had been cancer free and then she found out or they found out that her cancer was back mm -hmm. um and long story short, it's a it's a heartbreaking story. Very said much. that um, they found out now that she does have cancer back, and that the doctor had said that she does not does not have very much longer to live. Yeah, I um, went so there on that post on the community page, it's facebook.com slash group slash seven thirty one works If you want to read that post, mm -hmm. uh, just search his name, which is uh, John Coleman. John Coleman, uh -huh. and then you'll see the post and then they have a YouTube or a Facebook page dedicated to her to follow her story. He, you can go check that out. Right. And, um, uh, he doesn't say what her name is. I'm assuming her name is Kara because yeah, at the bottom Kara. of the post, he says Kara strong. Yeah, it's Kara. So I'm assuming that her name is Kara. Um, I didn't go to the page. I was, it's, it's such a heartbreaking. I, I couldn't go to the page. Yeah. I went to the page um, and, and they had called hospice in just a few days ago. I and couldn't do it. Yeah, I was. I had tears in my eyes. So I just it. be in prayer for them, and uh, that's our solid spotlight. I just. Uh, I told them last night. I said, um, I said instead of doing 
either a power tip or a sawdust spotlight or something mm-hmm. tomorrow night on the show. I want it to bring light to this situation because it it's it's tough. It, it's I don't know what else to say, but it's tough. That I want it to post something, mm-hmm. you know, words. You wanna you wanna say something and try to make somebody feel better, but yeah, there's true. there's no words to make Just them feel better. Yeah. But um, I'm a big believer in prayer and um, I feel like there's been so many people who have needed prayer here lately. And mm-hmm. uh, a lot of those people are people that have become friends of mine through this mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> this crazy YouTube thing. Um, and I'm so grateful because of that, because I pray for them and they pray for me. And mm-hmm. um, awesome. it's amazing. And prayer, prayer changes things. And, um, you know, uh, I don't know. I lost my dad to cancer several years ago and cancer is so non-discriminatory mm-hmm. and so unfair and you know my dad was older and this this little girl she's not she's nope. young and she's not lived her life and it's so unfair and anyway just prayers for them because mm, just read yep. her story it's heartbreaking JT Underwood uh, asked, how long did the epoxy take to set? So that was a slow setting epoxy so that all the bubbles come out. I let it set. I poured it on Friday morning, Friday midday, and then I let it set Saturday, Sunday, and then I unformed it Monday morning, and it was fine. So three days-ish. Moose Works got a laser. Awesome, man. Which one did you get? So, uh, so tonight we're Thank talking you, about planning big projects and I'm working yes, on a Miter station and how do you plan a project? The way I plan a project is I basically take weeks, if not months to think about something like this, uh, Miter station build and try to figure, I try to basically build the project in my mind and dec- and try to figure out, okay, what do I need for this? How much material, but really usually material is not The problem, usually you wind up like, oh, I forgot the drawer slides or I forgot X, Y, and Z. So that's kind of how I approached this project was I started planning a long time ago uh, on the Meyer station. It's not going to be super fancy. It's not going to be super expensive other than plywood. It's very expensive. But the uh, I basically want to make a six-foot Meyer station because it's going. I don't need a... So the last one, this one out there that I tore out today was, it's 10 feet long. I don't need 10 feet of miter station top. That's just, it takes up way too much space. I can consolidate that down to six feet. And when I do need to cut longer stock, then I can, I've got a roll of stand thing that I can use and to support that one end while I make a couple of cuts and then put it away. But basically planning that project, um, I knew about how much plywood I was going to need just based on my dimensions, kind of rough guessing I always buy a sheet extra I mean I I know that stuff's expensive but it's better to have one now than need it and you know go back to the store and they're sold out or whatever and then how many drawer slides I was going to need I'm I'm going to put some drawers uh, pull outs in there that have tool or or those little parts organizers but I'm not certain I'm putting drawers in it and but I've got enough drawer slides to cover that and then of course uh, on the wall I didn't want so I've seen uh, miter stations that have uh, cabinets built above them, and I just I don't I don't think I would use those other than fill them up with junk because <laughs> I was cleaning out junk drawers today and they were everywhere. So I went with a, a wall organization system that will help me organize everything and hopefully keep it where it goes. And then so all that stuff takes planning and time and obviously saving for stuff like that if you're saving up for a bigger project. Uh, I was just curious how everybody else done their big projects like how are you doing them are you do you have a spreadsheet do you have some type of project management software you're using or you just kind of wing it i have a couple of questions for you um jt underwood wants to know how long did it take for the epoxy to set yeah i said a minute ago oh sorry missed it i was reading Mm -hmm. um and then one other thing did you see carla long's message about tony said to be in prayer for him he's getting ready for a long journey so to be in prayer for him. And then Georgia Peach is here. Hey, Michelle <laughs> Cochelle. Um, did you answer the question about using heat to remove the bubbles? No. Okay. So who asked that? Lewis Nicole Dean, did you use heat to remove the bubbles? Yes. That was an interesting... Uh, yes, but I didn't have to. Process. Yeah. 
So what what happened was, so Jake, he owns Ologan. He's got his own epoxy company. He pours uh, epoxy all the time on river tables and stuff. So this is a slow setting epoxy, so it takes days to cure. Now, you could put some other stuff in it to make it cure faster, but that's where you're going to run into the bubble. So I poured it. The bubbles come up. I got a little heat gun. I put the heat gun on it, and they go away. I come back 30, hour, 30 minutes, an hour later. There's little bubbles everywhere. I put the heat on it. They go away. I finally, I text him. I was like, hey, man. How long do I keep popping these bubbles? He said, what are you talking about? Well, they're putting this heat on her. He said, mm-mm, don't, don't do that. He said, they'll, they'll go away. And so basically all the bubbles come to the surface and almost all of them will pop. And if the ones that don't, you you overfill it anyway. So when you plane it down, you plane it back down to the wood shows on that epoxy board I made. And then when your wood shows, all those bubbles are gone. And so this He's one He's impatient. Some- uh, I was ready to take the thing out of the form as soon as I poured it. Like, I want to be able to pour it, mm-hmm. bam, just sit, and we take it out. That's not how that works. Mm-hmm. He's impatient. <laughs> um, <laughs> Carla also wants to know, or her husband, Dwayne, wants to know hey, if or what you know about, I don't know that word, Carla, Klipsch speaker and making Klipsch the speaker, speaker box. What's uh, that? I don't know anything about the speaker. I mean, they're a high end or they're, they're well known for their speakers, but I don't know how, like, what size the box would need and all the space to make them sound just right. Uh, oh. There's a science in that. Uh, I know so I guess so, you know so. about that. I don't know anything I know about the it. brand name. Oh, okay. I know okay. what a speaker box is. <laughs> oh, uh, and I love this name. JV, and I'm, I'm going to butcher this last name. Okay. Ochoa? Ochoa. Ochoa? I really like the name. I probably butchered it like crazy. Is there an inexpensive or free planning software that you recommend? Uh, Google SketchUp. There's a free version of that that you I can bet use. I butchered that. Um, I'm sorry if I did. That's the only one I know of. And there's a paid version, but you can also get the free version. And Robert, I don't think we said it, but I feel spacey. I don't know if we said it, but drop your states and we'll give you a shout out. <laughs> Robert Davis <laughs> says, Do you draw it out uh, on talking about planning projects? Most of the time I do. On this one, hey, I Becca. haven't yet, but I will when I get to that point. So. Basically, what happens is uh, on this one, I'm almost winging it. <laughs> I, I already know up here what I want, but I just hadn't put it on paper. But most of the time, like desk builds, uh, furniture builds, like even when she's designed furniture or wants me to build something, she'll draw it and say, hey, this is what I want. This is what I want it to look like. And my drawing skills aren't great, so it just looks like a bunch of squares or kind of squiggly squares. But yeah, usually I'll kind of sketch it out. I even add, I still have the dog kennel sketch that I made when I made that what, five years ago. People always ask me, "Can do you have plans for that? I was like, no, but you can have this terrible sketch. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you see the question from 203 Designs nope. about the joint for bedrooms? No. Okay. My wife wants a new bedroom set built. I'm good with the dressers and nightstands, but what's the best joint for the bed frame? Dovetails or mortisons and tendons or something else? I'd go mortise and tendon on those. Or you can dial joinery, domino if you have a domino. I want a new bedroom set too, but no bed frame. You could do dovetails if the frame's going to be showing and you want to see that dovetail. But otherwise, I would just just more some tin. It'd be super strong. You'd never have to worry about it. Nivosby says, good early morning from Israel. Yeah, that's awesome. Huh, that's super cool. That's awesome. That is super cool. Somebody at work today... Um, one of the teachers that I work with, she laughed at me. She said, I love the way you say July. So I can just guess that some of the people that's listening to us, they're like, she butchers <laughs> half of what she says. Probably. 4321 <laughs> says Cam at Blacktail Studios leaves his tables in his form for two to three weeks. Yep. So the deeper the pour, the longer it's going to take to cure. And so they have little sensors that they can use to tell the hardness of the epoxy and make sure it's because you don't want to take it out of the epoxy and then the table start warping because the epoxy, the epoxy basically acts as another board. It soaks into the boards and basically becomes one. If you take it out too early, it's going to warp and twist and bend just like wood would. Uh, but once it's cured, it's, it's like concrete, it's solid as rock. So you won't have to worry about it. So uh, long story short, Jake does the same thing. He pours them, lets them sit for a long time before they take them out of the forms and start getting them ready. Like those river tables, you can make a lot of money on them, but you also have to have the space, the equipment, and the time. Ha, hmm. huh, I got JV's name right. What? I can't believe that. Look at that. Right. I know. Look at that. 
I butcher half of what I said. Robert Davis, I have downloaded SketchUp and I have used it. I say I've used it. I've drawn some squares and got frustrated and quit. Uh, Steve Ramsey actually has a, a very good detailed video on how to operate or how to make things in SketchUp. It's, it's very well worth checking out if you're interested in how to do that. Just if you'll search on Google, uh, YouTube, Steve Ramsey, SketchUp, you'll find it. I'm trying to get these names in here. Oh, you are? I mean, states. The states. 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 I'm trying. States. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to scroll to the bottom, make sure I didn't miss none. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, Michael Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. <laughs> he says that uh, Bourbon Walt has a great video on uh, strongest joint method. He just did that a couple weeks ago, probably. He also made a river table recently. He put all his hater comments in it. <laughs> it was funny. That's that was funny. Good. That was good. So, um, hey, Mary Man, thank you. On the the miter station bill we're doing, we we went with OmniWall for the wall organization. If you've never heard of them. I'm sure you may have heard of wall control, Omni wall. It's basically a metal pegboard thing. And you just heard and, of a new yep, one. A Ryobi Link is another one. So I didn't want the cabinets up there. So <laughs> I tough. started planning several weeks ago on what I was going to do up there. In in my mind's eye, I wanted to have black um, background with the tools kind of be the star of the show. And I've got rigid like drill and driver things. and But then you got wrenches and different things like that that will really stand out on the black and so that's what we went with it come in today and about how many boxes you wouldn't hear there was a bunch the ups guy made three, three trips tri <laughs> three trips today so john clayton this is a skin from a place called fish skin yep and they got a walnut fish, one i wish uh, i would get back s-k-y-n fish skin mm -hmm. right yep. and you can get them for any um any type, any computer. Of, yeah, any mm -hmm. computer, iPads, iPads, anything. They just fit random ones, mm -hmm. and you can get them for the outsides, the inside keyboards, uh, all kinds of stuff. And they're supposed to be removable, so you can, like, if you get it crooked, you can pull it off. But mm -hmm. they they tend to stretch if you maneuver them a little too much. So I've had to reorder a piece because I've tried to put it on, and I've. Uh, had to try to adjust it and it stretched and I've had to reorder. So, but they're not expensive. So, yeah, they're very expensive. Yeah, inexpensive. Dan says keep an eye on Amy's safety. Don't let that wall, that panel fall over on you. It's actually hanging from the ceiling. I, they probably saw it move. Oh, it's they're hanging on curtain rods, so they're not. It's good. Oh, like they're extremely oh, lightweight plastic. It? I don't know. You may have. I, may, I probably bumped it. They're just it's expanded plastic PVC. It's extremely light. It's lighter than a oh. curtain, so it, he's, <laughs> she's good. Maybe. Maybe. It, it weighs more I than hang I it do. Up there, though. <laughs> it weighs <laughs> more than I do. <laughs> so you never know. Um, we do not have any build plans for Adirondack chairs, though. James King has some good ones. Yeah, he does. Mm. But we don't. We've never yeah, built any. Never been. I want to try building some of his. Uh, Robert Davis, uh, he's building a. A, a workshop wants to know if he cover the walls in sheetrock or plywood. I would go plywood personally, but for looks, for function, plywood. If you want it to look, you know, pretty good, I would probably go sheetrock. I don't know. I I'd probably do plywood and just paint it because then you could just screw things to the wall and you have to worry about it. If you go sheetrock, then you have to make sure you hit a stud as long as it's not metal metal stud. So that's probably what I'd do. Um, World Under Fire says, first time catching y'all hey, live. Man. Thank you so much for all your videos, Matt. Thank Just you. got started woodworking this year, and you've helped me so much. I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you, World Under Fire. Uh, let's see. Tony Bacon says, I love the name. <laughs> Tony, Tony Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> I love bacon. Uh, best tutorial videos for chop or miter saw beginner. Steve Ramsey. He the man. He's got one on that. Also, look at Woodwork Web. I believe the name of that channel is uh, Colin Connett. He he does a pretty good job with that too. Either one of those, Steve Ramsey or Colin Connett. Alex Gregg says thanks for the guidance and first time catching a live. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Thank you, Alex. It's I love seeing uh, the ones who it's their first time mm -hmm. catching a live. I love that, and the ones that say. Is this really live right now? <laughs> well, it's am hard I, to am tell I really sometimes. live? Yeah, it is sometimes. I had to tell some of my um, 
students goodbye today because they they said they're not going to come back uh, tomorrow. Thursday is technically the last day, but some of them said they won't be back after today. And it and some of them said they were coming back until Thursday, and I was like, oh. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Some of them, some of them. This circus is 100% live. That's right, Becca. Oh, yep. 100% right. live. Some of my kiddos might jump on here tonight, though. This wall does kind of get in my way a little bit. Does I it? I think we hung it a little too far out. That's See, I do keep hitting it. I didn't realize that I was hitting it so much. You're, you're ruining the effect. I'm there. ruining it. Yeah, it looks like it's just hanging there. Yep. I'm messing it all up. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Black Sheep. He had to sneak. He had what? He had to sneak. Had to sneak. <laughs> Moose works at wall control for the win. Yep. You know so, that? wall control. So, here's the story. I reached out to both wall control and Omni Wall, both, and asked them to partner with me on a video. It was, and both of them were extremely gracious and just super nice. Absolutely awesome people, both of them. And so, I. It was basically left up to me which one I wanted to choose. And so I just personal preference went with OmniWall. I and mean, I'm sure wall control is excellent. And they Darren, make great I'll get stuff to your too. question. But I just personal preference. Mainly what sold me was the accessories, the way their shelves are made. They have a, the, one of their, one of their accessories is a socket holder that you can put your sockets in and you can color it like color coded or whatever. One for SAE, one for Thank Imperial. Thank you, Richard Benefield. So that's kind of what. It's kind of it's kind of helped lean my decision that way. Richard Benefield says, "I love your lives." I love you being here, man. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I have a question from Darren Harkins. Thank you, Brent. Says, "Curious, if someone contacts you, oh dang it, it moved." What did you do? Lincoln Woodworks. Super <laughs> Thanks, Lincoln. Matt and Amy. Okay, Darren says, "Curious, if someone contacts you for a coffee table or something similar, do you ask what kind of wood they would like, or do you go to something like pine as the default?" I, I would ask them because the, you know if you if they contact you and say I want a coffee table and you make it out of the pine and they were expecting a walnut and oak then they're, you're gonna have like some explaining to do <laughs> you know so and you know hardwoods or you can charge more for those because they're they're worth more but if you're if you just work with pine which I did for years years you know built stuff out of pine and never had any issues as far as I know still haven't so it's perfectly good wood to work with just make sure it's not too wet and you'll be good but yeah i would i would ask up front would you want a hardwood or would you want a more cost-effective pine so brent jenkins says hey y'all love the new background thank, thank you brent um the weekend diyer says do you use fusion 360 no i don't um I, i'm not good with those i have never i'm gonna say i'm not good with them because i've never used them like sketchup fusion i don't use any of that stuff i've never sat down and learned any of it so it's it's not something I do. And Bill Lloyd says, I made it. Yay, Bill. Exclamations. Awesome. Yay, <laughs> you're here. Um, Married Man is reminding everybody, if you are on a mobile device, close the chat so you can go out and smash that yep. like button, and then you can come back into the chat. Thank you, Married Man. Ron Colquitt that. says, what was the project you priced out? And as soon as you did, you knew that you left money on the table. Dog kennel. Very One of the very first videos that took off on the channel was a dog kennel video. I say took off. It did well for that time period. Um, I think I sold that thing for like $350 or something. And I was like, it was a lot of work. Like I, it was a lot of work for, especially as somebody just starting out and not really knowing what to do in a whole lot. And I, when I sold that, I, was, I told her, I was like, I'll never sell another that cheap. Cause it was a lot of work. So yeah, that was it. We should all have a moment of silence for PJ. Her uh -oh. daughter had her last class today and she now has a senior as a daughter. <laughs> We will pray for you. Yep. Even Steph says that we'll be praying for you. Hey, it Travis. is no joke having a daughter that age. I'm telling sure. you. Whew. Travis. I'm sure you already know that. Teenage daughters yeah, there's are something else. rough. There's something else. Gosh, they are so rough. <laughs> they get better, though. They tend to get... Mo got better. She's pretty good now. She's still, she's still hard-headed, though. She's a good girl, though. She ain't listening tonight, so I can say whatever mm -hmm. I need to because she doesn't have signal where she's at. So she don't, she's not going to hear anything I'm saying. She's a really good one. But man, did she have a bad attitude mm. as a teenager. Gosh. Yep. Woo. 
She's a good one, though. Travis says, have you ever made any projects with MDF? Uh, I use MDF fairly regularly for making templates and things like that. Um, I was trying to think if I've built anything. I don't think I've built any, like, shop project or anything like that out of MDF or furniture. I've done several templates with them, and it's good stuff to work with. I, it, it, it's good for its purpose. As long as it's not going to get wet, it's good stuff. It's heavy, though. It's really heavy. Navosby has a very interesting and, as Mia would say, loverly question. <laughs> Mia says loverly about everything, our grand dog. Uh, says, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Outlaw. I'd love to get your advice on how I can honor the Lord in my work while trying to grow a business. Mm -hmm. How well, do we do that? Well, I mean, we do it in a few ways. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, we got shirts that we wear on our video, uh, but we yeah. also include in our stuff we ship out mm -hmm. um uh, we call those things uh, basically a, a tract uh, mm -hmm. that will share million the gospel question. yeah it's a million dollar question we have several ways to do that but you know talk about you God. don't want to browbeat somebody yeah, I, I, we don't some people might they may prefer to browbeat maybe maybe <laughs> we, we don't, don't want to but we don't want to know, browbeat somebody uh, i think just just you know, sharing the love of, of God and Christ. That's just mm -hmm. kind of, if you do that, you'll be on mission and just be in yeah. prayer about it and just ask him to put you in front of the people you need to be in front of. That's kind of what we do. So, But you also, I think one of our biggest things is we've had people reach out to us and say, how could you talk to somebody else who doesn't believe in God mm -hmm. the way you believe in God? That's not the way mm -hmm. that we believe God is. Um, so... We believe that um, you should love any everyone, no matter if they believe the same way you believe or not. That's kind of the way we feel like we honor God. Mm -hmm. Love everyone, no matter what. So that's just kind of how we do it. So, yep. I don't know. Put, I'm sorry, I can't spell your name or Who? pronounce it. <laughs> you can't spell, <laughs> can't spell it? it? I can spell it. But I can't. Uh, Which one? Where? Limeros. We'll just say Limeros. Where's it at? I've got a, it's on the screen. I've got a, a lot of basic woodworking tools. What should my first project be that would oh, give me that's a I can't confidence I can do more. <laughs> so if you've got so country. basic, well, if we're talking basic like a drill, driver, and circular saw, one of the first things I made, well, the first thing I made and sold was J Bates chair. If you if you search J Bates outdoor chair, there's free plans for that. I think it takes like six two by fours, if I remember right. And it's like really really simple the only angle you cut's a 10 degree angle which you can do with a speed square you can pick one of those up if you don't have one for six bucks i think and so that's a, a really cool build it's a bigger build so when you build, build the chair and you're looking at it you're like i made that and i can sit in it <laughs> and it don't fall apart like it's, it's you don't have to have any special joinery it's just an easy a good beginner project it's kind of it's where i started that's what i read um, John Clayton said this is his first time live hey, with us also. Says, I love the content you post and I enjoy the fact that you include God and Jesus. Uh, rare today, hitting, uh, rare today, hitting like now. I've been a subscriber for months. Thank you. Ah, that's cool. Appreciate that. Um, God is good would work, says Matt, Amy, and staff. Prayers needed for our wayward daughter who found a new way to hurt us, her parents, mm. today. Thank you. She's 20 years old. I will say this to you. Um, a lot of times, people who find new ways to hurt others is because they're really trying to um, figure out stuff for themselves. And maybe she's just trying to figure out something about herself right now and she'll find her way back to you. But we will be in prayer for that. Hopefully, um, she'll find her way back. Mm -hmm. But, you know, God does leave the 99. Yep. That's so. right. Mike Benatozzi says, what are some mistakes you think beginners usually make? I think a lot of times, I think one of the biggest mistakes a beginner makes is they're afraid to try bigger projects. I, I'm guilty of that. To this day, I'll, I'll be thinking of a project. I'm like, I don't know if I can do that. I think that's one of the failings of a beginner. Mm -hmm. now, also, I think beginners, if you're a true beginner, like you don't know anything about tools, anything like that, like you need to get some safety stuff in, in there and get really read up on this stuff. And one of the mistakes I made as a beginner is I didn't take dust collection seriously at all. It's like you buying didn't. a refrigerator. Uh -uh. It's like buying a new microwave. It's not something you look forward to and want to do. And I put it off for a very long time. I asked you about it and you never I would. Like, uh, mm -mm. But I should have taken it more seriously. I mean, just for safety reasons. But uh, 
Yeah. Not really for the dust, because I care less about getting dirty. It's just the breathing that stuff in. So I think it's a, I think yeah. that's a pretty common mistake, because it's not something you want to save up and buy. If you save up, you know, the kind of money to buy a proper dust collection, you could buy a table saw, and that's you're wanting a table saw. You don't want a dust collector. So. Yeah, I I think that in the beginning you really didn't take for mm. a long time. Yeah, years. Yeah, for a long time years. you didn't take that serious <laughs> at all. Yeah. Uh, uh, Big Bill says the golden rule. Big Bill. Yeah, that's yep, that's cool. always good. Tack Woodwork says as you com- as as you are confident in your ability and buy and add more expensive tools, how should you price and charge increase due to higher quality products? So if your product is nicer, hey, then hey, what's up? You know what time it is? Power tip time. Power tip time. Can you get back to that question? Yeah, I'll show you. I'll don't, hold it right Don't there. forget it, okay? I got your tech. Don't forget it. No, you don't forget it. Do you have a power tip? Yeah. Okay, because they, they asked for a power tip, but I'll tell it to you after your power tip, okay? Who asked for it? Some people are asking for something for a power tip, but I'll tell you that after you give them a power tip. Well, we ought to take that one. No, no, no. Go ahead. <laughs> do, so you the, ha- do you have one? Well, Thank I'm you, fixing, Bill Rickett. Thank you, Bill. Super chat. I'm fixing to come up with one. Do you not have one? I will have. <laughs> God. So the power tip is. Are you trying to make one up? No. So the power tip is what happens is when you're planning a big project, such as my Meyer station build, because that's what I'm working on. Uh, always basically budget in the, the, um, Oh, or, or the, uh, you forgot this type thing. So, most of the time it's going to be, you're going to come up short of material. So if you're building a miter station, if you don't have plans for that and you're going to try to make it yourself, you'll come up a half sheet. It's always going to be like the half sheet of plywood or a quarter sheet of plywood. It's not ever going to be the full sheet. So go ahead and buy the extra sheet of plywood. Go ahead and buy an extra pair of the drawer slides that you're going to need because sooner or later you're going to use that stuff anyway. So you might as well go ahead and put it in the shop. So always basically over budget. I just, Saw one of the coolest names ever on here. Was it Matt Outlaw? No. Oh. Dingle Dangle TV <laughs> from That's Norway. Awesome. I love your name. That is so awesome. Dingle Dangle TV. That is awesome. Says he's from Norway and it's 2.30 a.m. there. Thank you, Becca. Oh, <laughs> Man Car- Caver Tools, thank Super you. Thank you Becca, baby. thank you just because and for fixing to come up with power tips. <laughs> thank you, Brendan Fowler. Can we get a virtual fist bump? Give him a virtual <laughs> <I do>. fist <laughs> All dingle right. dangle <laughs> dang it i like Is that, that. A question or i've seen a lot of your videos and learned many tips and tricks from you and love your woodwork Thank you. okay all right back to tech woodworks all I'll right tell go ahead and answer back. that and then i'll i'll tell you so if you're building with higher quality <laughs> materials yes if you just bought an expensive tool and you want to help pay for that tool then no that's not that's it's not fair to the customer but i think you're asking if you're using better quality materials and you're Skill is better than absolutely that that should cost more because your skill, that skill that you're you're learning and building on should grow. You should be able to grow that financially, I guess is what I'm saying. So, yeah, you should charge more if your skill and your product is better. Okay, press the button. Thank you, Mr. Clark. He says, so Matt and Amy, I've not posted any of my work or really done the YouTube stuff. At your encouragement, I plan to share pictures and life coach messages as God always gives back more than you give. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Clark. All right. And Becca says, what was Amy's secret power tip? So, uh, Becca, I don't think you had popped on here quite yet. Um, but when we did our sawdust spotlight, we had um, talked about Kara, um, the young girl that was posted about in our community. Right there. Oh, yeah. We had talked about her. And um, we, uh, we had talked about possibly talking about her during power tip time mm-hmm. or sawdust spotlight. And some of the people were commenting and said that during power tip time, they, if it was okay with you, that they would actually like to do a prayer, a, mm-hmm. a prayer on here. So what I thought maybe we would do is at the end of the show tonight, if you wanted to hang on for it, that way, you know, we're not, if you don't want to be on here for it, you don't have to. Right before we end tonight, if you don't mind, if you'll say a prayer, because nope. there's a whole lot going on right now. We've got a lot mm-hmm. of people, you know, members, we've got, um, you guys are our family. Um, mm-hmm. There's a lot of you that's going through a lot of a, a lot of stuff right now. You know, we've got some stuff going on. Um, there's been stuff happening in schools right now um, that's uh, horrific. Yep. Um, schools are letting out for the summer, and if you don't know this, there are k- 
there are kids that get scared to go home for the summer mm -hmm. because they're going into homes where they don't know where their next meal is going to come from, or they're going into homes where there's abuse, or they're going into homes where they're having to take care of siblings, or they're going into homes where, you know, there's no love, no attention. They come to school because school is the only place where they get a smile all day, or the only place where they get a hug all day, or, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. Um, and then we've got people like Kara, who is a 14-year-old girl battling cancer and the doctors have said that she doesn't have long to live you know there's so many bad things and so y'all had asked for a prayer so if you don't mind we'll, we'll, do it we'll close the show with a prayer tonight yep. and if you want to be part of that then you can hang around for that so at 7 55 ish five we'll mm -hmm. do a prayer and then we'll close uh, black sheet woodwork says uh would you recommend doing business cards you can if you're talking to people and meeting and greeting so they don't forget you uh that's would be a good idea. I'm not a, a meter greeter, so I, I never got any business cards for 731. What's that noise? I really don't know. I hope y'all don't hear it. It's really, I really can, loud. Hissing. Yeah, it's really loud. It's like a funnel. It's almost like water running. See, I don't know what it is. It's weird. That's on you. What? Yeah. It's not me. Where's that coming from? I don't know. You got something going on over there. Something is hissing. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sounds like Psh. what's going on in that direction. I don't know what you got going on. Can y'all hear that? Like a water sound? Maybe, Dog fan, maybe thank they you. can't hear it. Almost at three hundred. Yep, we're uh, two ninety two. I think so. Yep. Yep, we're getting close. I think we can make goal. it to that five hundred thousand. Our goal is five hundred thousand. Really I, I believe that uh, God's going. I believe that the only way it will happen is if God intervenes and. Yep. Makes it happen and they I, don't hear the sound. I, that's fine. So I I set lofty goals that without God's direct intervention, it will not happen. That's why five hundred thousand was set for this year and one million is set for next year. So that's the goal. Is it my laptop thing? Uh is it? I don't think so. They don't hear it, so it don't matter. Yep, it's my laptop oh, fan. It's hot. Dang oh, it. Well you got room. I'll check. Oh, that stuff's open over there. Oh, I don't know how that got over. 293000 Thank you, Celine. Yeah, we've been blessed uh, beyond measure. It's her fan. It is. Um, who the said that? The epoxy is running. <laughs> epoxy I don't have any pores out there right now. Running. Who said laptop fan? Jason Priestler? Yeah, Thank, you, Thank you, Jason. Miss Ann, if you're still on here, you raised such a bright boy. Well, man now, but you know. How did all that stuff get, get open? My laptop runs hot if a bunch of things are open, and yeah, I don't an know. Model. Of course, yeah. Moses is doing it too. And hers is doing. Yeah, but mine only does it if all this other stuff. Gets H two, you up. missed a bunch. No, you didn't miss a whole lot. But yeah, we talked about Meyer Station planning for projects, that sort of thing. So OC Beavers, did you see his question? I just saw it. Did you? Answer? What can you do to help get more subscribers? What, share. what can we do? Yes, yeah. Miss Ann. See. Yeah, anytime you share a video or just comment, like, Thank you, and, Kevin. and watch the whole video, or like after this live stream, if you watch another video, that helps generate. It's just all algorithm based. But so, yeah, if you want to help out, just share the videos when you see them and uh, with somebody that you think will actually watch the video. And uh, always uh, welcome feedback. Uh, so, if you wanted to email me with feedback on videos. Super if, chat. Thank you. Thank you, Becca. Forgot <laughs> it was Tuesday. Needless to say, it's been a crazy week. However, yes. I was watching 1994 Power Ranger, so I'm well more than halfway. So. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yep. Hilarious. I challenge all of us to share the link to next week's Live Edge to your social <laughs> media to see who of your friends will join us in the chat. Yeah. Married man. <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Where's the Avengers yeah, t-shirt? Uh, so YouTube is, is so crazy you know you work on a video and I, I in my mind usually i know whether the video is going to perform well or not mm -hmm. for the most part sometimes i get surprised but like for the most part i kind of know what the audience wants to watch and that's why there's less project videos i get a bunch of questions people are like why don't you make anything anymore well people aren't watching them and so when i do a tool video people watch that so i kind of have to have to go to what the viewer wants mm -hmm. now we're still doing projects we're going to do 
I got several shop projects I want to do this summer. And then she'll come up with projects she hey, wants Gregory in the home Taylor. for furniture and things. So we're going to do those still. We're still going to do those. But creating content, like if you're a content creator and this is your living, then you have to put out a video. And we do two a week. So it would be extremely hard to put out two project videos a week. Mm-hmm. We try to do a couple a month. It's kind of what my ideal project is. So uh, just the way YouTube works anyway is, is really it's crazy. You'll see a video that you know, you, you didn't think it was going to do well and it didn't do well out of the gate. And then two, three, four, six months later, it, it just starts taking off and doing, I'd say taking off. It starts getting views, not viral views, but it starts picking up steam. And you're like, wonder what happened? Well, it takes the algorithm a while to find the right audience for that specific video. For the most part, when the video goes out, it shows it to, if you have your notifications on, it'll show it to that. And then outside of that, it'll show it to like a thousand people, just rough estimate. And then if, the majority of those watch it and watch the majority of the video. It'll show it to a thousand more and a thousand more and a thousand more. And that's how viral videos happen. And so I just ain't got the right formula yet. Gregory Taylor says this is his first time seeing us live. Been following you for a year, enjoying the content and to see both of our growth. I appreciate that. Well, there let me do right our here. states. Right oh, go ahead. Uh, Rick Enoch says, what do you think about Ryobi day deals? You can get some really, really good deals uh, right now at Home Depot. I think it is that does Ryobi. Maybe those, maybe both. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't looked at, uh, I was looking at earlier. I was looking at Ryobi deal days. I think it's Home Depot. Ryobi home uh, day deal days. And this got me messed up. Ryobi deal days. And they have a ton of, of good deals on tools, power tools, if you're in the market. So, yeah. Glenn says that he's enjoyed your secrets videos and Gavin says they loves all your videos. They give him so much inspiration. Thank you. I like your inspiration videos. Yeah. I've got a new channel that I started. That's pretty much all that's there right now. It's like five or six motivational videos and it's youtube.com slash mad outlaw. If you want to check that out and then we'll have in the future, what I plan for that channel is for, um, to put out inspirational and motivational type videos. Uh, I've done some on this channel, they don't necessarily perform well, but the feedback was amazing. And some of the messages I get to from them to this day is like, it's, uh, I don't know, it's next level. So I was like, you know what? I just, I need to do, like I felt led to do those. So I started doing those on the other channel. I try to do one-ish a week. <laughs> Sometimes I don't get them out one a week, but I try to. Becca, show in, if you have, I think it's on Hulu, show him uh, Thundercats. Thundercats. If you know what that is, you may not know what that is, but Thundercats is, oh my gosh, I love Thundercats, but it's really, don't make fun of me (laughs) if you know what it is or if you, if you see it, (laughs) show it to him and see what he thinks about that. I missed a question because somebody else was asking about it. And so I'm trying to look for Chris's question. See if he likes Thundercats though. I love Thundercats. If I missed your question, you can ask again. I, I, I okay. try to catch them all. While but- you look for that, I'm going to give a shout out to our states. We have South Dakota, Virginia, Missouri, Ohio, North Carolina, South Carolina, Delaware, Wisconsin, Michigan, Kentucky, Texas, California, Indiana, Georgia, Arizona, Maryland, Alabama, Minnesota, Arkansas, Alaska, Canada, A, eh? Germany, mm-hmm. Idaho, Maine, Louisiana, New York, Israel, Vermont, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Iowa, Oregon, Illinois, Norway. Did I say Arkansas? Yes, I said Arkansas. Look at there. Uh, Oklahoma. Oh, somebody said they like Thundercats. <laughs> uh, RV, RV Vacationer. How many uh, of my community uses CNCs and lasers? Not a lot, uh, I don't think. But I want a laser. Because Sandra no likes but... Thundercats <laughs> too. Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> Robert Davis uh, <laughs> wants to know, he says, since you're not seeing all the comments, he's assuming you're on YouTube. Yep. We're on YouTube. Just YouTube.com slash 731 boards. You should see the video right there. Okay. Look, Damon oh. knows it. Thunder, thunder, thundercats. <laughs> I love thundercats. You're get his copyright strike <laughs> singing the song. <laughs> Sorry, Kansas. <laughs> I missed it. Sorry. Uh, Did I not say Kansas? I love thundercats. Scruffy Santa says, how far out do you plan your uh, videos, snarf, projects, snarf. days, weeks, months? So, Rhode that's, Island. That's kind of a two-fold question. So I have a list of video ideas that I I'll keep running. And so I'll just keep dumping into that every time I see something. It doesn't even have to be woodworking related, like those secrets videos. I saw those somewhere else. So I was like, I can do one and spin that to tools. So I dumped that in there, and those have been in there for months. Now, the idea has been there for months, but I actually haven't filmed it. So when I film it, usually it's about a week, sometimes two weeks ahead of time. It's pretty regularly 
about a week ahead of time. I'll film it. I'll, I try to video edit one a week in my editor that I have. edits another one a week. So we both oh, edit a video a week. And if I could get another editor, I would just get rid of that one too. But it's really hard to find an editor that kind of can mimic my style. We have Ethiopia on here yeah, too. Awesome. Sweet. Oh, and yes, it has to be the original Thundercats, not the reboot. <laughs> um, on Facebook, we have a question from Robert Davis. Yep, I already said, answered it. Oh, sorry. I was busy with no, my wait. Thundercats. No, wait. What is it? Since I don't see all the comments, oh, yeah. I'm assuming. I okay. I was busy with my Thundercats. I thought that's one I asked. Okay. That's <laughs> so cool that so many of y'all know about Thundercats. I can get... I, I can turn on the original Thundercats and like just get enthralled in it. Lloyd Raffles says the Diaz brothers be out. killing you. Would you ever fight one of them? I have no idea who the Diaz brothers is. <laughs> Not a clue. I, I'm assuming just a joke. I don't know. Where where do you read that at? It was just popped up on one of the Facebook comments. <laughs> what would you ever? Would ever fight them? The Diaz brothers? I have no idea who they are. <laughs> hey, Lloyd. I asked my seven-year-old her favorite Power Ranger. She said the pink one. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. The Thunderbirds yeah, I show remember from that the one. UK. Thunderbirds. I remember Thunderbirds. Mm -hmm. The Thunderbirds. Yeah. See, I don't know that one. Thunderbirds. Yeah. I know the Thunderbirds from Greece. The show Greece, Greece Two. They were the Thunderbirds. Right. No, Greece One. Greece One and Greece Two. But I wasn't a Greece One fan. I was a Greece Two fan. <laughs> Marionette videos. Oh my goodness. Uh, Javier on the, he's got a laser talking about making bookmarks, <laughs> giving people are going digital. The house. I, so that's a, that's, that's going to be a very niche market. And so Etsy is going to be the way to go. I actually bought a bookmark on Etsy. It was a Stephen King themed bookmark. It's in my bedroom. Uh, they, um, yeah, I bought it on Etsy. It was done with a laser. It was just engraved. So yeah. That's so funny. Hey, Gavin, thanks for being the first. Northern Ireland. Awesome. Ireland's on here, too? Yep. Goodness gracious. Voltron or Star Blazers? Obviously, Voltron. I mean, <laughs> there's no, yeah, no there's Voltron. no competition there. <laughs> uh, That's funny. The T-Birds. Oh, married man. Well, good luck. He said he'll catch the rest on replay and say a prayer to echo your prayer. Thank you. Uh, Jack Lacaz says, are you going to do any version of planter box? Um, if she wants a planter box, I would make one. Probably not. I don't do so well with the, no, it's not. I was not looking green. for your green thumb, but it wasn't there. So I do really good with one plant that I keep in my classroom. I've had it since I've had my classroom. I bring it home every summer. I keep it in my room all year. It has been alive for many years. It, it's hardy. It's it is very hardy. It's like it only needs to be watered once a year. No, I, I water it like twice a week mm. or so, once twice a week, and that sucker is it has to be like the toughest thing in the world because it survives me. Because sometimes I do forget to water it for like a few weeks at a time, a few months, and then sometimes it looks pretty bad. And I think it's I think I've revived. It. It's like a cat. It's got multiple lives. <laughs> um. And then I had a, um, what do you call the the Christmas ones that they oh, have? Oh, poinsettia. Poinsettia. I mm. had one of those. That thing wouldn't die one time. I tried to kill it, and it wouldn't die. And, like, I had to hide it somewhere in the woods. It wouldn't die. No, it, <laughs> so it, it's, it's not plastic. plastic. <laughs> no, it's real. Like, it's it's real. Wilson Outdoors says, how long did it take y'all to learn how to take and edit the videos? I don't know. I, I did watch the first video. It wasn't very edited or very good at all i just learned as i went that's us five years of just learning Talking and I'm, i, I oh, watch videos nice. on it all the time on youtube on how to edit or how to do this or that if i have a question i'm like oh what if so like if you watch this dark side <laughs> and the light side of the cnc where i had me on there twice at the same time me and my evil twin like i was like how do you do that so i just googled how to do that figured it out kind of thing so so <laughs> they're laughing because i hid the points out in the woods i literally it's probably threw still it. growing it probably is that's like i kept it for like six months after christmas and it would not die it got huge remember that thing yes, it I would did. not quit growing it would not Had quit to growing do this, coming through i the did door. not keep watering it it would not quit growing i let it get 
frozen and everything. It would not quit growing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Clark, thank you. He's, he's been a Super member chat. for our fist bump crew for eight months. There's a member story of a farmer and his seed. Some fell on a path and birds ate. Birds are people. Uh, still dream. Some fell. <laughs> Some falls rocky ground. Worries of life keeps, your, keeps you from dreams. Fall in weeds. Choke out goals. Good soul. Produce up a hundred times. Yeah. This, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Underdog. Uh, buy man caver tools. Says I'm out, you guys. Make sure Sweet. you subscribe to 731 Woodworks and smash that like button. Thank you. Smash Becca like. says, Sam has such a green thumb. She propagates plants in nothing but water. I don't get it. <laughs> Kudos to y'all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm like. I don't do plants. If I buy a plant if from the store and I'm bringing it home, Mo literally looks at the plant. She's like, I'm so sorry. Like, she apologizes to the plant. <laughs> She's like, you did nothing wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, I'm like, Really? Yeah, that's uh, true. Brandon, uh, Brandon Fowler says, "Do y'all have? Do y'all live on acreage? If not, do y'all plan on it? No, we don't. Yes, we do. I want my six acres. If you don't know what that is, go just search after this video. Steve search Harvey. Steve Harvey six acres. I want my six acres. Mill Pond has a poinsettia from 2017. Wow. So they have a Pretty history cool. of that. Those things are just yeah. known for awesome. for trying to survive. That is awesome." Yeah, we want, so the ultimate goal is to move out of South Arkansas <laughs> within two years. And uh, that's kind of the, our mm -hmm. dream goal. We plan is on to leaving move. in two years. We really love the Nashville, Tennessee area. It's kind of, mm -hmm. it's kind of where, that's where we want to go. We're going to mm -hmm. be in prayer about it and go where we're led to go. But I really, we really like that area. So Our son has but, two but years left in college. We want to travel around too son. and kind of see some other places uh, in the, in, I don't really know where. We just want to travel and kind of figure out where where home feels like and so yeah uh, we south arkansas there's nothing here that's going to hold us here after our son graduates uh, in two years so it's like and there's nothing here it's like 90 miles to the home depot it's it's just a long ways 90 miles to go eat anywhere decent so it's kind of you know because it's everybody's dream to live close to home depot or if there was a woodcraft nearby, that would who, be sweet. Look who I'm talking to. I'm talking to woodworkers. Or if there would be a rockler nearby, Jeez. I could go for that. You know, living the dream. Uh, I'm talking to a woodworking channel here. And as John about. Clayton says, <laughs> you're right. Arkansas is sweltering heat. Yes. It's like 100% humidity at 110 degrees. But I have degrees. to disagree with Sucks. you. There is something here. He says there's not going to well, be anything... That hold Our us, oldest son <clears throat> holds us will here. stay here. Our oldest son will be staying here. So, you know, he's rooted here. For a little while. I think, I think he'll, he'll stay here. He, you know, um, <laughs> my in-laws are here and ex-in-laws, his family. Um, my in-laws, his family's here. My mm -hmm. ex-in-laws are here, which is our oldest son's family. Um, my sister's here. I love my sister. You know, she's here. She lives in town. I don't get to see her much. Um, but Dylan and Mo's grand grandmother lives, mm -hmm. you know, like 14 miles from us. Um, and I think that our oldest son, Dylan, I think he's going to be in Monticello. I think that's where he's yeah. going to stay. I think he'll move on eventually. I don't know. I think he's pretty rude. Bill Rickett says, I just bought a house and I'm ready to convert the garage into a shop. Where do I begin? So I guess it just depends on I agree, Mr. where, Clark. if nothing's in there, my advice would be to do the floors first. Whatever you're going to do, whether that be an epoxy type floor with that sprinkly stuff on it, I put uh, horse stall mats in mine. They just thick rubber mats, and my, the fatigue on my legs, my lower back doesn't happen anymore now that those are down. That would be my first go to, and do the floors, and then kind of start sorting out where you want all your tools to hang on the wall and different things like that. Javier or Javier, um, my dream build for him right now is a bedroom suit minus the bed. It's a bedroom suit. That's my dream build that I look forward to us making. It's probably not in the immediate future because he's got too much other stuff to do, but that's, do you have a dream build? Whatever your dream is, baby. That's my dream. Oh my goodness. Michelle Cochelle says they're going to move to uh, Tennessee too. Really? Yep. There you go. We'll we want to we'll be in the 30 area. minutes to an hour outside of Nashville. Yeah, I don't want to live downtown. Uh, the move, the, yeah, Charlie says, I'm sure you won't have trouble finding the move until we start picking up this heavy stuff. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm concerned about. See, the Wood Whisperer is moving from Colorado to Missouri, and basically, I kind of skimmed through the video, to be honest with you, but it's like 
I, I think these, they're talking about moving in two, basically moving the shop right. and then also moving the prayer time. Yep. And moving the other thing. So, all right. So if you want to stay on for the prayer, um, mighty mad as <laughs> Lloyd's in the house. Lloyd likes to call him. Um, he'll say a prayer for, um, the school in Texas and Kara and we'll say unspoken. We'll say mm -hmm. that we'll say a prayer for our, channel members for our guest for our 731 family how about we say that for our 731 family because we do consider all of you guys our family sure. um and if you don't mind and if you want to stay on for the prayer you're welcome to stay on it if you don't we understand that too great heavenly father god we just thank you for this day and this time that we have to share together lord we just we thank you for each one of these uh members or viewers of 731 they're, they're our family to us lord and they we know you watch over them, Lord. We just pray she just continue to be with them. Lord, we pray she'll be with Kara and her family as she f uh, fights cancer. Lord, we can't imagine what they're going through, but you know. Lord, we just pray she'll you wrap your arms around them and give them peace and comfort. Lord, we pray she'll be with Joshua Patton's uh, Nicole. Uh, she's got some tests coming up. Lord, we just pray she'll be in that situation as well. Lord, we pray that you will be with the uh, family of the, all the tragedy that happened in Texas this morning, Lord. We just uh, it's just awful. We just pray that uh, you would move in that situation, Lord, and that they would feel your presence. Lord, we pray that you just watch over our channel members who had surgery today. Just uh, help them heal. Lord, we just pray that you just be with us all, Lord. We need you. Lord, we pray you ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Did I miss anybody? There was a lot of, a lot of things. Our, this is our 731 family. Yeah, I said 731. Yeah. Viewers, family. This is our 731 yeah. family. We pray for you guys. Yep. Um, We pray for you guys daily, and... We love you guys, and we're so thankful that you joined hey, us every Tuesday night. We've some amazing friends on here. Like, we really it's have. absolutely amazing the 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 people we meet. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's like no other. You know, I've mm -hmm. met some really good people. You guys are good people. So we you like really it. are. We <laughs> love you guys. You know, uh, we're thankful for you, and we look forward to Tuesday night every mm -hmm. week. So, thank y'all yep. so much. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Yeah, have a good. We're willing. Good night. Good night.